A big donation is bringing hope to people fighting cancer. The Anderson Foundation is donating $100 million to the Mayo Clinic Proton Therapy Program. WCCO Susan Elizabeth Littlefield got an exclusive look at the equipment making life easier for those going through the tough diagnosis of breast cancer. October is now synonymous with pink for very good reason. One in eight women is going to be diagnosed with breast cancer. It's something Kalina, a doctor herself, learned the hard way. In the shower, she noticed a subtle change in her left breast. It was tiny, like a pen tip. And I thought, really nothing of it. Two days later, I was sitting in my office, opened my own path report, and uh, said invasive breast cancer. And it was always like a, a, a pit, falling into a pit. It was quite an emotional experience. And just like that, the anesthesiologist was under the care of an oncologist. After a lumpectomy, she got some good news. She qualified for the Mayo Clinic's proton therapy condensed treatment plan. I knew many women who had gone through a full course of standard radiation therapy, which is about 30 treatments. And so when uh, my oncologist suggested that I have proton beam therapy, which is five treatments total, uh, I was delighted. Dr. Shumway took WCCO inside the therapy center, showing us how unlike x-ray radiation, proton therapy doesn't hurt other areas near the breast. The things that we think about most are avoiding the heart and the lung. Dr. Shumway was a first year medical student when his grandmother was diagnosed. Breast cancer treatment became his mission, one that proton therapy is making brighter. Where we're able to focus the radiation more where we want it to go, that opens the door to considering some shorter treatment courses. I think that the treatments that we have now for breast cancer are better than they've ever been. That's real and hope. It is. It is. And this is hope realized. Helena is cancer free. I hope that this experience makes me not only a better physician, but a better human being. In Rochester, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO, 4 News. Helena was 50 years old when she was diagnosed. She had no family history and is urging all women to get screened.